Okay, everybody, we're here day after Christmas. Um, I'm with my buddy George Zajac. George and I grew up together. Very long time friend, great shooter. It's been a long time since I have done any archery videos. I've been um, fishing at the, one of the best falls of my life this year. I, the fishing was crazy, and I took a, a very good buck with the bow, so, well, bow and finish it with the shotgun, but it ended up being a really good fall for me. Um, like I said, it's the day after Christmas, and my buddy George wanted to get a new longbow. Um, he's been a longbow shooter for 30 years plus. The best advice I could give him was to go to Kagan at Omega Longbows, and that's what George did. George yeah, ordered no a, yeah. It's a Delta. George was shooting a lot heavier before. Um, he did the Muzzy shoot with us this year. He was shooting really heavy bows, 65 pound bows. He's now dropped back to, I believe this is gonna be, is 45 pounds, we're gonna scale it. Um, when it comes to buying a high performance bow that pound for pound, penny for penny is really hard to beat. Kagan is a fantastic young boyer that is just gonna tear it up in the future. His bow's already, you would have to spend at least double to buy a bow that would even come close to performing like this bow in here. We're excited to get it built, we're gonna get it built, and then we'll turn the camera back on. Appreciate it, thanks for looking. Thanks, Kagan, Merry Christmas. You too, Annika. Okay, we've got it unwrapped. It came in a really nice hard tube. I, I wish more people would ship bows and PVC tubes. They really are a great way to do it. Um, look at the shape of these limbs. Kagan really, really designed a really neat bow. It makes me want to shoot a, a hybrid. It just really, just badass performance oriented looking bow. We're gonna get it set up, get a knock on it, and get some arrows. Um, hold on. All right, we just got it bolted together. I just, I, I love his limb design. It's just, what a nasty looking longbow. George, you like the riser? Love it. It's got a old, gun stock kind of grain to it. It's, it's a handsome sharp, bow. It's, it's, a, it's handsome a real bow, yeah. dark, I mean it's a hunting bow. That with a, a nice bow quiver on it is going to make just a, a, a nasty bow. It is 48 pounds at the 28. Yeah, I didn't scale it yet but that's what it's marked. Um, again George is dropping from 65 pounds down to 48 pounds. So we're going to get a string on it, get a knock set and we'll turn the camera back on. Thanks. All right guys, we got it set up. We got two spring silencers spun in the beaver fur. We've got two tied on knocks. George is gonna shoot it. Again, I'm just so impressed with the little details on this bow, like the knock points, just really well done. I don't know if you can see on there, carved knocks. The really nice sweep of the limbs, blacked out. It's just a badass looking bow. George is used to shooting 65, 70 pound self bows. I think he's going to be amazed at what a 48 pound modern design longbow does compared to a 70 pound self bow. Nice, it's fast, it's quiet. Okay. 
Well, I mean, it, it's quick. It, it, it feels, the riser feels very recurvish to me, which I like. Um, what do you think, George? Well, guys, appreciate you looking. Omega Longbows, Kegan, pound for pound, penny for penny. Probably your biggest bang in a performance reflex deflex style longbow. And uh, again, picture that with a black leather quiver on it. It's going to be a, a white tail zapper. Thanks for looking. Appreciate it. We're losing light quick. I want you to hear that bow shot next to another bow. Wait a minute. I live buried into the side of a hill. It's like an amphitheater of the bowl with a road mic that's on there. It's gonna amplify the sounds, but you'll get a comparison of what the, you know, how quiet that bow is compared to my CH, which has been a pretty quiet bow. Go ahead, buddy. Okay. So, appreciate you looking. Again, Kagan, awesome bow. You did a great job. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, well, thank you. I didn't get it started yet, buddy. Ugh. <laughs> Hello!